I'm Thea and I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm Ator from Brazil. And we are Thea and Ator. <laughs> We actually work with a program called The Next Generation where they try to include kids in Elvis music and young adults in Elvis music as well. That's pretty cool. Keeping his memory alive. It's a long, lonely highway when you're driving on your own. And it's a mean old world when you've got no one to call your own. And you pass the town. My dad was a musician, so basically I had instruments all over the house. So since I was seven, eight, I've been playing the guitar. Same exact story. My parents are musicians. My whole family does or plays or sings something. So. <laughs> Next generation, and yep. we're gonna be working on that. We're recording If I Can Dream because Dream Big Elvis Did is the slogan of Elvis the Next Generation. So, we just what a perfect song for that, um, that program.
I sent an email to his manager when I was about 15 that if he ever came to Brazil or South America we would be available for a gig but uh, it never happened then 2012 they played the movie star arena in Chile which was like 14,000 people was sold out arena with the Swedish inspirations I think their guitar player couldn't get a visa to work there and since Brazil and Chile they have an agreement they remembered you yeah they remembered <laughs> me and somehow I think the manager's son pointed out for him that a kid in Brazil sent him an email years ago so they decided to try it out so I flew to Chile like they told me 10 days before the gig <laughs> that I would be flying to Chile and playing in the arena with the Swedish inspiration so it was really really fast then I played with them a couple of tours there then we played Las Vegas that was festival they invited me to come here so and that's actually how we met because I sing backup for Strong Clutch sometimes On when the Swedes tour. can't be there I'm there so we met and then we realized our love for Elvis and this next generation so we grouped together and now we have the duo can you guys help me clap along it like this In the car on the ride. <laughs> in the car on the ride. Well, basically. Basically, that's our well, crunch time. <laughs> usually, we pick like the songs that we've been hurting, like listening to it a lot, about what, two months before? About two months before we start talking about yeah. it, you know? And then we just sit down together on FaceTime that's and uh, we give the keys and I make the arrangements and then I send to her like a little demo recording of it and she sees if it fits with yeah. what she's doing vocally. And piece usually it fits like everything at first take already it fits pretty yeah. well. And we try to find the songs that people may have forgotten about or just haven't heard in a while so we can bring them back to their attention. Oh, my I see the stars, I hear the roaring thunder, thy power throughout the universe displays. Personally, that it's the love that he gave us. This is our way of giving it back to him. All these years later, you know, we we still owe him for what he's given us. He's given us, I mean, more than music. He's given us friendships. This whole week, most of my friends come from some event that I met them at here. So I, I would say that it's just us giving back the love to him because he deserves it and we know it. When <laughs> okay, funny little story. I was two years old and that's before they had all the display cases, like the really well sealed type, you know, temperature controls. They had the clothes kind of out where you could actually touch them. You weren't supposed to. No guards were watching. I got away from my parents. I touched them all. I danced in them all. And 
So that's my first Graceland memory. I I was horrible. But in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first time that I came, uh, I was an exchange student in Louisiana for one year, and uh, my whole family surprised me when my mom came to pick me up here in an exchange program, and they drove us from Shreveport to here, and. Uh, it just felt like home, like it was a weird feeling as soon as you yeah, open the door comforting. and you go inside, it, it's, it feels like home. Because he feels like family, yeah. know, so it's, it's special, it's, you can't describe it. They message us about some songs that you know we do, like Pocket Full of Rainbows is one that had a lot of attention on yeah. it. A lot of people message us about that it. At all, but they always ask if we're gonna record the song, which now we might now record we're going today. To, yeah. But they, they always ask for the recordings and um, if they can download like yeah. the MP3 of the video, if they can just download the video somewhere. So And that was our point to get them like interested in the song itself and then go back and listen to Elvis's version, like the root of why we did it, you know, so to get them back to the, the originals. You can shake and drop a rock in the apple tree. You can shake, shake, sugar, but you never shake me. Uh 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 uh. No sugar, uh uh uh. I'm gonna stick like glue. Stick because I'm stuck on you. I'm gonna run my fingers to your long back hair. Squeeze your body. Like a huge family reunion. That's what it feels like, honestly. It is, yeah. yeah. It's, it's awesome. I mean, it's, it's the best place. If you're an Elvis fan, you gotta come to Elvis Week at, at least, least once. once. Yeah, at least, at least once. once. Because it's, it's different. It's a, all the people that they are very similar to you and you feel like with your at family. Home. You, you feel you, like you're at You're home. walking, you're seeing people like, I've seen people from the UK, I've seen people from places that you know, usually you just message them on Facebook. And so many people we would have never met in our lives had it not been for Elvis yeah. Week and the tent and you know, the vigil, oh my goodness, so. Hide in the kitchen, hide in the hall, ain't gonna do you no good at all. Just one side picture and the kissing stars, a team of wild horses couldn't tell. Being honest, like going really, really back, when I was about eight, I went to an Elvis tribute artist show in Brazil, and it was the first like non-track show that I've seen, and I saw the guitar playing, you know, and I kind of liked the tone. I was like, oh, he plays like James Burke, but if he can do it. Like I might be able to yeah. get like a similar tone and yeah. get things right. So I started since that was I was eight years old when I saw it. Yeah. Then when I was eleven, I got my first show with the tribute artists in Brazil and actually played like the whole set yeah. with them. So I would say that guy. Yeah. But here it's more Sean's old guitar player. He had uh, Ross Sutherland. He's an amazing guitar player, and he, he looked was, up to him a lot, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. He he was just like 
the closest I've seen to James Burton, so he really like inspired me to really study each league, and we're good friends now, so... That's cool, huh? <laughs> it feels pretty cool. I would, I'm sorry, no, I, was just gonna, I would have to say that my mom would be mine, because she sang back up for the ETAs when I was little, and I would sit in the audience and watch it, and I knew that that's what I wanted to do, and pay tribute to Elvis. Sometimes Santa heard the track and she's like, We try to compliment each perfect. other's you know, ability. That's, that's exactly what we picture together. Yeah. So it's been pretty cool. Yeah. ourselves, a kid dreaming in Brazil, a kid dreaming in Nashville that never thought they would have a chance to have the exposure or the, I don't know, the chance to get up in front of their fellow Elvis fans and show their way of honoring his music. I mean, that, that's our way. It's different. It's acoustic, but it's ours. And that's his. And that's his. You know, so it's, I don't know, it's everybody's chance to really, I don't know, I don't know. It, it gave us there, a good exposure. It was is there really, a chance to really, like, pay their tribute as close as possible? Yeah. Exactly, to, yeah. To Elvis, you know, so, so many kids have gotten their start here. So many of the ETAs that we work for now started right here at I this mean, tent. You, you get nervous before going on the oh, tent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The first thought that comes <laughs> in your head, it's like, all right, Grayson is right there. So, well, they're doing an Elvis there. wave. Yeah. You know, all the fans are here. They know, like, every song lyric. They yeah. know every chord. So and so many greats have come from there. It's intimidating. You yeah. know what I mean? But so it's, it's, it's amazing. It's a good feeling. Yeah. It's, it's kind of nerve wracking, but it's. Yeah. We sure I mean, hope we it's wait here for next it, year. Like, the whole year, yeah. so. Please. <laughs> 
Theater, we're playing. We usually do the three faces of the king, which is a show with uh, this year we have Jake Rowley and we have Sean. And uh, we're gonna do the opening act, Should and be, yeah. then we're gonna probably check what we recorded Sun Records and possibly release some of the songs. Mm -hmm. So, and then we've also got some shows planned in Nashville. We always Nashville, do local we have stuff area, in Nashville, yeah. so yeah. 